white tents aligned in rows. Here are the new homes of the Kurds of Syria. Some of them have just arrived. Others have been here for a few days already. All have fled the Turkish offensive and its bombings, but also the redeployment of the Syrian regime in northeastern Syria. We are here in the Bardarash refugee camp in northern Iraq, where Hassan arrived with his family just five days ago. I left because of the Turkish bombing. My house was destroyed. The situation was very bad. They destroyed everything, so we left. Serakaniye was looted. 6,000 people are already on site, roughly about 1,500 families, men, women and children, many of whom are young. Most of us were uh, not ready for uh, receiving this numbers of uh, people. We're trying our best, like all uh, UNCR and uh, government and UNCR partners, we're trying our best to trying our best to help these people to support, but uh, still not enough, like we still need uh, more, more humanitarian aid. When they arrive, each family receives a tent, some blankets and food. But many remain traumatized by what they have just experienced. We didn't want to come here, but the situation was so bad that we had no choice but to leave our home. We left our home behind us. We left Rojava with only our clothes and our two children. Our children cried a lot, but they are better than when we first arrived. I feel safe here. I do not feel fear anymore as what happened is now behind us. 200,000 civilians have already been displaced by this new conflict. Some of them are on their way to Iraqi Kurdistan and the Bardarash refugee camp, a camp that can accommodate up to 10,000 people only. In a few days, it will be completely full. It's a really a big issue because, as you see, all the organizations are here and, and trying their best to deliver assistance. But still, the refugees are leaving their homes uh, due to the threats of regime, due to threats of uh, bombarding, and etc. The refugees long for only one thing, to be able to return home and resume their lives. But returning to their homeland in the meantime seems impossible.